Hello everyone. Welcome back to another GTM indoor workout on my evening commute. Just getting my stuff warmed up whilst we wait for a few other people to join. We'll start about half past. Um, so this week, just got a couple of minutes warm up and then we're into an FTP session today. Ramping up a bit this week. Um, but yeah, here from my living room, if you haven't joined before, Thanks ever so much for coming on. Say hi in the comments section. I can reply to the comments as I go. But that's it. Number one ban. But thanks ever so much everyone for joining. This week we are doing an FTP session. I'll run you through it before we get going. So in about a minute's time we'll start with the warm up. Um, so we're doing three lots of three minutes at FTP then two lots of two minutes at FTP, and then finishing with one minute FTP. So we're sort of descending down in the time. And we're gonna start in about 30, 40 seconds. Thanks everyone for your hellos. Okay, so just a few seconds time, we're gonna start with a two minute warm up. I'll start the little timer here, you can see a a little bit better this week. We're learning every week. If you uh, don't know what your FTP is, a very good point. Uh, we're doing it on effort levels, so we've got something for everyone here. So, all right, we're going to start the warm up here. So, it's got a little countdown. So, after the 10 seconds, we'll start with a two minute warm up. So for those just tuning in, we are doing an FTP workout tonight. Um, but those who don't know what the FTP is or don't have power, um, we it's essentially sort of an effort level of nine out of 10. It's pretty hard for the given length of time. We'll talk through this in a little bit more seconds. So the moment we've just got a two minute warm up, as you can see on screen right now, hopefully you can see that. Move that a little bit closer for you. We've got two minutes. About 100 RPM, effort level of three out of 10. Or start off whether you like one, two, we'll build up to three or four out of 10. Just make sure you're nice and warm. So FTP um, is your functional threshold power, or you can do FTHR, which is your functional threshold heart rate. Um, or if you don't have either of those, just go by effort level. That, your FTP or FTHR is essentially the maximum intensity you can sustain for an hour. And it's a really good benchmark number for us as athletes. Um, a lot of people talk about it, do a lot of FTP tests and fitness testing. Um, but doing FTP intervals, is obviously a great way of improving that FTP. All right, so we've just got 40 seconds remaining. This one, we're actually going straight into the first interval. If it's your first time joining in, remember you can get on here and start warming up a little bit before. And likewise, stay on a little bit after. I'm going to stay a little bit longer this week as well, after just for a nice cool down and chat to you guys. Okay, so in about 22 seconds time, we are going to start with our first three minute FTP block, or nine out of 10 intensity. So pretty hard. We're doing three lots of three minutes with three minutes recovery between each of those efforts. And then we go down to two lots of two minutes. Okay, starting in five seconds, three minutes. Effort level of nine out of 10. Okay, come on, get your gears ready. Off we go. It's a pretty hard intensity, a nine out of 10 intensity for three minutes. This is gonna hurt, all right? Anyone else struggling to hear me? Okay, two minutes and 20 seconds remaining. I don't expect too many comments at the moment, because you should be working hard. We can get involved in the chat after this three minute block. Just to run you through whilst we're all working, we've got three lots of three minutes at FTP, 
or about a nine out of 10. Three minutes recovery between each of those. Then two lots of two minutes at FTP. Two minutes recovery between each. And then one minute FTP. It's a bit of a favorite session of mine. FTP descend. It's nice because you get the hard work out of the way at the start and then it sort of feels like it's getting easier and easier to go through, despite your recovery's getting short. Someone commenting on how red I've gone. Yep. And someone asking me to sing. Thank you, Gary Miller. You don't want to hear that. Those are my two musical instruments, and I still can't play either of them. A little bongo drum and a guitar. In fact, it's a junior guitar. It's not even adult. So I'm not ready enough, ready for adult size guitars. All right, we're two minutes down. Just under one minute remaining. This is a hard intensity. About a nine out of 10 for three minutes. Try and keep that cadence up. We're looking at around 90 to 100 RPM. Come on guys, good work. Just 30 seconds remaining. Hello uh, Mexico. So we're asking on uh, Canyon Air Road here. So a road bike, obviously. Quite enjoying riding this one on the indoor train at the moment. Five seconds remaining. Then it's a three minute recovery. And we go. It's an effort level of four out of 10 now. About 100 RPM, get the legs spinning. If you've got towel, might want to use it now. Aero for indoors, yes. Ooh. Let us know how you're getting on, how your week's been, at the start of your week anyway. How are you getting on with the old COVID-19? Um, yeah, how's it affecting you guys in your country? How's the country doing? What that means for you and your training? what you are doing to cope with it. I'd love to know. Everyone's in a slightly different position at the moment, different countries, different stages. But this is what this session's all about, is bringing us all together to train together, get through it together. Doing a 12 week Swift program. Yeah, I think a lot of people are suddenly getting on training programs. I'm also getting involved in a lot more Swift races. So if it's something you haven't done or maybe you are doing already, give us a follow. Maybe we can do a meetup, get involved in a race. I've done it with a couple of people on here already. Um, it's great fun. I've had my backside handed to me in every single race so far, but I'm getting better, bit by bit. Okay, so we've got just under a minute remaining. We've got two more lots of three minutes at FTP, or nine out of 10 intensity, so a hard effort. And then with three minutes recovery for each of those, then we go into two lots of two minutes at FTP, or nine out of 10 intensity. And then we're finishing with one minute FTP. That's easy, we'll get through that, no problem. Okay, just come up to 30 seconds remaining. Some people entered Ironman races, still training in hope they might be on. Yeah, it's a really tough time, no one knows what it's gonna be a situation in a few months time, whether there will be races or not. I'd say it's still, training's great for motivation, can be a distraction. I'm watching out three, 
two, one. All right, let's go. Nine out of 10 intensity for three minutes. The session length in total, sorry, I should have said that start, is around 31 minutes, 32 minutes. That's including the warm up and warm down, although they are quite short. Um, so, quite short and sweet session, but feel free to add on a warm up and warm down onto that. Great work, everyone. Okay, almost a minute down on this interval. Does anyone else break their intervals down into blocks? One minute blocks or 90 seconds? I don't know. Everyone else has different ways of dealing with the intervals. So, someone asking you, nine out of 10 effort. Is that at FTP or above? At FTP. Um, yeah, going by kind of, you know, nine out of 10 intensity for that given length of time. It's a really hard thing to explain because you might assume a 10 out of 10 intensity is a sprint, but we're talking about for that given time, nine out of 10 intensity or FTP, we're talking about at that, at your FTP, not above it. If you haven't quite the final breath, of course, feel free to push on. Those that are tuning in late, we're doing a bit of an FTP session here. We've got just under a minute remaining on the second three minute block. Doing a bit of a descend session. Three lots of three minutes, two lots of two minutes, and finishing with one minute at FTP. Or FTP HR, if you're using heart rate, or on a perceived effort scale, nine out of 10. Let us know if you've been involved in all the sessions so far or you're on last week's. Makes me a little bit nervous how much my laptop is moving here. That's what you get for old floorboards underneath you. Okay, 10 seconds remaining. Two, one, three minutes recovery. Get some fluid on. Great work, everyone. How are you finding it? If you got enough energy, give us a little comment. For those that missed my little spill, probably bored everyone else at the start, but FTP stands for Functional Threshold Power. It's essentially the best power or intensity that you can sustain for 60 minutes. A lot of cyclists, triathletes use FTP as benchmark, something for testing their fitness. And what happens at your FTP, or well, the reason why you can only sustain it for an hour, is because it's the point at which your body starts to produce lactic acid at such a rate that your body can't get rid of it, or as quickly as it's being produced. So by knowing this number, we can train at, above, slightly below, and attempt to bump it up. So idea being that you can then push more power or work at a higher intensity without producing lactic acid quite so soon. So if you take like some of the top professional athletes, the reason they strive to have high FTP is that when they do go above that FTP, they can come back down to their FTP and it still might be higher than someone else's. They're recovering, the other person isn't. Or they can just push a higher power without starting to produce lactic acid while someone else might be trying to keep up and they're producing a lot of lactic acid. Understand what I'm about? <laughs> Try to explain, I'm no physiologist. Right, 
Right, just got a minute remaining, and then we're into our next three minute effort at FTP. This is our final three minute effort at FTP. I'm doing much better on my timekeeping and the number of reps this week. So I'm tuning in from Buenos Aires. Hello. It's good to have everyone here from all over the world. Okay, so this is our final three minutes at FTP. Coming up in 20 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds. Three, two, one. All right, let's go. Yeah, here we go indeed. My nose is slowly getting more and more quiet. It's getting quite hard. Those tuning in right now, we're doing an FTP descent session. Three lots of three minutes, two lots of two minutes, a lot of one minute. Now we're on the final three minute block. Working at your FTP or a nine out of 10 intensity for this time period. Do get involved in the comments if you haven't already. Maybe wait until the end of this effort. Try and stay nice and still in the saddle. Try not to rock around. Try to just move the legs. Keep that solid, that core solid. Okay, we've got a minute 15 remaining. Of this three minute block. This is the last three minute block. The reps just get shorter from here on. Let's hang in here. It's the last time you have to do three minute effort. The two minutes fly by. Don't worry about it. If your legs are hurting, they cruise by. You finish before you even know. Thirty seconds remaining. Who else just likes to get aero when they're putting effort in? Feels like I'm in a race. Spurs me more. Twenty seconds remaining. Kill on, guys. Great work. Three, two, one. Woo All right. Three minutes recovery. Effort level of four out of ten. Feel free to go a little bit lower. If you are hurting, you're struggling, keep that cadence nice and high. 90 to 100 RPM. Very easy to drop down to a very slow cadence on the recovery efforts, but. It's really important to keep the legs moving. It's going to help flush out the waste products, any of that lactic acid I was gibbering on about earlier. How's everyone finding it so far? Let us know. We'll see. Give us a shout if you've been involved in any of the other sessions so far. 
has been really good fun having all of you along, involved in the comments. So we've got a nice little community here, all coming together during these times. I know some people are in complete lockdown and quarantine at the moment, so this must be really nice to be able to link up with others. A little bit more, I guess, than just Swift. Got me on video. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but hopefully helps somewhat. <laughs> Everyone's gone quite quiet on the comments. Um, someone asked me how they can connect their turbo to Zwift. Good question. There's quite a few ways. So depending on the turbo trainer you've got, if you've got basically a very simple turbo trainer, it's not a smart trainer, um, so that can't connect to your computer, then the minimum you need is a cadence sensor on your bike. Or if you want a slightly more you know, interactive um, ride, then you might, you might be able to connect to your power meter on your bike. So, but the ultimate is having a smart trainer that actually adapts to the gradient intensity in the game. Um, you may need an ANT adapter. I did have one here, I was gonna show you, but it's not there anymore. Um, or you might be able to connect via Bluetooth. There's lots of ways, and I could probably bore you for about half an hour on it, but I'll save that for another day. Okay, 15 seconds. We're starting two lots of two minutes at FTP, so still the same intensity. We're just dropping it down by a minute for each effort, and two minutes recovery between each of those, or between and after. Okay, two, one, let's go. Brilliant work, everyone. Get back into that effort. About nine out of 10 intensity. 90 RPM. Try and stay really solid in the saddle. This is a hard effort. Even harder to talk whilst doing it. Well done, everyone. Keep at it. If you feel like your power's dropping off or the effort you were pushing before, try to just hold it there the best you possibly can. You're still going to get a very good training, adaptation or training benefit from this. Should have got my TT bike average, and I know I've gone down onto handlebars like this. Thank you everyone for joining. Brilliant having you all along. Don't just say thank you to me. Thank you for getting involved and getting involved in the chat as well. Okay, just 30 seconds remaining. I told you this one would fly by. Look at that. Effort's almost over. Brilliant work. Fifteen seconds. Great work, everyone. Three seconds, two, one. There we go. Two minutes recovery. Keep the legs moving. Get that cadence up about hundred RPM if you can. Nice and easy. Three or four out of ten. Anyone working by power or FTP, this is kind of like, I guess, 50% uh, of your FTP. Stretch your legs out, get some fluid in, wipe that sweat off. <laughs> Okay, a minute remaining on this recovery. Then we've got one more two minute effort, two minutes recovery, 
and then one last minute FTP before going into the cool down. We're almost there, so close everyone. Well done, great work. Anyone want to drop any suggestions in the comments for a session next week? Please do. Always open to ideas. There we go. Around 20 seconds. Final two minute block. Ten seconds. These are getting me ready for my swift traces. Take them seriously. Get myself fit again. Hey, go and off we go. If you've got your phone to hand, get a photo of yourself now. I'm going to do the same. If you can, whilst you're working hard. And ping it in to GTN. Go over to our website, GTN Global Tri Network.com. Be able to find our photo upload on there, or be able to look through our YouTube channel. You'll we'll also see it on there. Or just tag us in on Instagram. We love that too. Come on, guys. Brilliant work. Just a minute remaining, or just over a minute of this two minute block. <laughs> so I'm suggesting a changing slope session. By that, do you mean we send you a GPX file or something that's going to change intensity on your smart trainer? It's a good suggestion. It gets complicated there. Okay, 15 seconds remaining. Brain work, everyone. Stick in there. 10 seconds. Two, one. Great right, work. Right. Two minutes recovery. Four out of ten intensity. Nice five games. Just got one minute FTP remaining. Okay, so just suggesting a change in intensity, Rob, and this in changing slope session. Yeah, we actually did that a little bit on the first week, but definitely keen to revisit sessions like that. or a gradual increase in intensity. I've got loads of ideas. You're not gonna like them, I'm sorry. Tell you what, I'm glad I have this to hand. If you are lacking indoor training items and things like towels and things like this, do you have them on our GTN shop? Again, head on over to globaltrynetwork.com. Believe we've still got a sale going. Go check it out on our indoor training bundles. I could definitely look into it, Dan, about sending through a file before with changing intensities, a little bit like switch workouts. More than happy to do that. I love doing that kind of thing. I'll see what we can do so that it works for everyone, those that maybe don't have that file. Yeah, or just get the session out in advance. To be honest, I'm going to do that today. I'm going to get the session ready so you all know next week's. Okay, we've just got one minute of FTP remaining. Okay, five seconds and we start. Two. One. All right, let's go. One minute. This is it. 
If you want to push one more, go for it. Let's go into the red. If I was your coach, I'd probably tell you not to do that, but heck, why not? I'm, I am. Come on, everyone, good work. Come on, hang in there. 20 seconds remaining. Last dig. Come on. Brilliant work. 10 seconds remaining. Three, two, one. Oh, it's hard. Brilliant work, everyone. That is a cheeky session. So we've got two minutes warm down now, but I'm going to stay on here a little bit longer. And if you do have a bit more time, I'd also suggest sending this warm out a little bit, warm down, out a little bit more. That's a tough session. Imagine a few people's legs are burning, I feel like jelly now. So it's important you flush them out, gradually lower the heart rate, rather than just jumping off your bike, as so many of us can't often do. <laughs> need to get a second fat, yeah, I need to too, yeah. Great work, everyone. Fantastic having you all along. Thank you so much. If you have enjoyed this session, don't forget to give it a little like. You can do that on the screen. Just play this video. Brilliant having you all along. I really enjoy these. I look forward to them each week. It's fantastic. <laughs> Someone just asking how many fans they got. Yeah, I've only got one fan. I have I actually have the Wahoo Headwind, which is an awesome bit of kit. It's really cool. Sadly, I don't actually have a Wahoo Kicker, but if I did, I'd be able to connect that up to the Wahoo Kicker, so it would change as, or it would increase the fan intensity as I went downhill on Swift, as I increased the intensity. It can also connect up to a heart rate monitor, I believe. I haven't played around with that one. But yeah, it's the end of the all done. Keep chatting away. But, yeah, you can also connect up to Harry Monster, it's meant to be the same. So I will try that out at some point. I've only recently just received it, so it's great. But thanks ever so much, everyone, for joining in. Let us know if you're still here, still riding along, where you're coming from today, how your training's going, what you're planning on doing. This year, I know everyone no really best. That's why, if anyone's seen, we're doing a 5k challenge on GTN, just something to keep us motivated, a bit of a goal at the moment. Um, I've been really enjoying it. It's actually, I'm training probably more consistently than I have done for the last two years by just having this program set out. Oh, thanks everyone for all the support. Someone saying that's a good, a great Club 10 replacement. That's a, well, I'm pleased that's, um, Club 10's on the great hard, so I'm pleased I succeeded in making this session hard for you. Yeah, someone hoping to do an Ironman 7.3, yeah. The Ironman have actually just announced a new schedule for their races, or provisional, I guess, at the moment, because they don't know anything happened, but, um, and that's for Kona as well, so the Kona qualification. So make sure you check that out. We'll also talk about it briefly in the show this week that comes out tomorrow. So go check that out. On that note, I mean, there's so much news at the moment, I thought 
we'd be lacking news in the world of triathlon, but it has been an exciting time. So many weird and wacky things going on, so much to chat about. Loads of virtual races, which would be fantastic to follow along to. We chat about a lot of those in detail in the show this week. Um, so yeah, make sure you tune into that. Okay, I'm gonna sign off here, go and get some dinner, end of the working day, my evening commute from my sofa to my bike to the kitchen. But um, thanks ever so much everyone for joining in. Feel free to extend this warm out, warm down out, there we go, this warm down out further. Um, and yeah, come along, join us next week. I'll try and get the session up soon as so you know what you have in advance and you can prepare. A um, couple people asking whether maybe send through a session file. I'll try and do that. If not, hopefully you have the session up in enough time that you can create it yourself for your trainer. Thanks everyone. Great to see you. Over and out.